Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Casey and today I'm going to be showing you guys all or at least most of my puppy stuff. So I'd like to start off by saying this is not 100% of her stuff. Um, I still have a few things that I'm going to pick up, you know, here and there. But for the most part, I have everything, even if it's not puppy specific or specifically hers. Um, like brushes and so on and so forth. But this is pretty much all of it. Also, she does have a crate. Um, it is in our spare room currently behind some other stuff. Plus, it's kind of heavy. So I really don't want to go get it, but I will tell you about it. Um, it is just a standard 32 inch wire crate. Um, I don't know the exact brand because it was given to us, so yeah. But it's perfectly fine. It is a little bit bigger um, than she's going to need when she's a puppy, but we're gonna cross that bridge when we get to it and at least she has a crate. And I will show you guys when it's all set up and everything. Um, I plan on doing like a room tour of when uh, I get everything set up, maybe a few days before she actually comes home or something, I don't really know, but yeah. So I'm going to let you guys know in advance that this stuff is kind of just like all over the place and the order I go in is probably not going to make much sense um, or anything, it's just kind of what's in front of me at the time, so sorry about that, but I'm going to start with this giant, giant container I have here, and by giant I mean it holds 40 pounds. It alone is not that heavy, um, but it is full of dog food currently. Um, it is airtight um, and leak proof, or so they say. Um, this used to be Hazel's, but I have a different system for her now uh, because she eats semi-moist food, um, but I highly recommend. I will try to leave a um, and I will actually try to leave a link in the description for all of my stuff, um, if you can get it online. Um, but it is snazzy, um, it has this little measuring cup. It doesn't tell you anywhere, but I figured out that it is a one cup measuring cup, which is really nice. Um, and I have dog food in there. Um, and I have the bag just because I saved the packaging for everything just for this video but I don't plan on saving it all the time but it is taste of the wild pacific stream puppy formula smoked salmon um I've heard wonderful wonderful things about taste of the wild so I'm really excited and it really doesn't smell like fish I was kind of concerned that it would um but it is a lot smaller kibble than I was anticipating. Not that that's a bad thing, it's probably better because it is puppy, but I'm so used to having, you know, like, large breed adult food that this little tiny kibble was hilarious. Um, I'm not going to go into uh, much detail about the food specifically, just because everybody has their own preferences and everything. But for our situation, I think that Taste of the Wild, specifically the salmon one, is probably best for us all. Um, and I really love this container. It is also BPA-free and food safe. Um, it is plastic, but this lid is actually made to where you can write on it with like a dry erase marker, which I thought was super cool. Um, and this one specifically is also stackable, so highly recommend. Um, we used to use these when I worked at PetSmart all the time. They were awesome. And, yeah, that is her food storage and food. So next I'm going to go into her food and water bowls. So I just have this glass bowl here. It is actually one of our old bowls that we used to use. Um, it's, I mean, it's not huge or anything, but this is what I plan on using for her water. Um, like I said, it is one of ours, so I know it's, like, of good quality. Um, back when I had my Chihuahua, he used to drink out of one of these the majority of the time. And, yeah. Um, I don't really see a point because she is going to grow relatively fast. I don't want to buy you know, really good, high-priced, high-quality stuff when I already have 
stuff that we'll substitute until she gets a little bit bigger. Um, and such with these. Now, I don't know if you can tell on camera. They are used. They <laughs> may or may not look that fantastic. I do have two of these because, again, they're used. Um, they came with my chihuahua when we got him. But they are really nice, heavy quality. Um, they're just discolored from being stored. They are clean, however, I don't know um, if you can really tell um, or see, maybe not. They have like little, like, chewing where he's like nibbled at it, but they're good. They're small. I may or may not use these. I don't really know, but it's just what we've come up with for his or for daisy's food um at least until she's a little bit bigger i don't know so continuing on with the like food and edibles and stuff like that um i'm just going to show what couple treats that i have so far um and this is a jones natural chews jumbo pig ear um hazel my other dog there she loves pig ears. In fact, you can't see it, but there's an even bigger pig ear um, over there that is almost devoured. <laughs> um, it was even bigger than this one was. Um, I don't know how early I'm going to be giving this to her um, because, you know, it is kind of hard, but uh, maybe when she's teething or something. I don't really know 100% yet, but... Uh, I mean, I probably won't give this to her, like, day one or anything, but I figured while I was there the other day, because, like, I get these at Tractor Supply, um, I was there the other day, I got Hazel one, why not pick up one for her as well? Um, this is a jumbo pig ear, by the way. You can get smaller ones. If you dig and dig and dig, you can oftentimes find really, really big ones, but this is just the one I got for her. Um, and next, um, this is not the container that it came in. Um, but it's just a mason jar that I had, and her little, little treats. Um, again, I saved the package, even though I'm not gonna continue saving it. But these are Buddy Biscuits with all-natural peanut butter, soft and chewy treats. Um, I got these from Chewy. Um, I, I haven't really looked, but I don't know of anywhere, um, in my town that you can buy these. I don't know, again, I haven't really looked, so don't take my word for that. Um, but I really, really like these. They are, I don't know if you can tell, but they're really tiny, which I, I enjoyed because my thought process was, um, obviously she's going to be in training, she's going to be getting a lot of regular training treats um, and whatnot, but um, with these, I thought it would be a really good idea for something different for her potty time um, being they are soft and um, smaller I was hoping and I don't know how well it'll work out but I was hoping you know for potty time you know take one break off like a leg or something um, and when she goes potty outside give it to her um, hopefully that'll work I highly recommend that you at least look these up again I have never used these so I don't know how well they will work out, but I was really impressed with the ingredients in them and Bunny Biscuits all around, so. Plus they are made in the USA, they're only 10 calories per treat, and again, I'm not going to be using a whole treat, most likely, per, uh, per give. Um, so yeah. This is the whole package, by the way, it is 6 ounces, you can buy bigger containers or packages of these, but... That's just what we got, so. Yeah. So next is another kind of bowl. I don't know why I said kind of, it is a bowl. Um, it is this, this. It is just a collapsible silicone bowl. I believe this is a large. I bought it at PetSmart a long time ago, so I don't know if they even make this exact one anymore, but I will try to link one in the description that is very, very similar, um, if not possibly the exact same one. Um, but it doesn't have any, like, markings on it, which, in a way, I, oh, no, it does. It does. It's a Dexus, so. <laughs> it was 
Who would have known? Uh, but it did come with this little carabiner, which I was excited about. Uh, this was originally for Hazel, however, she has never actually used it. It used to um, ride around in my backpack all the time, regardless of if she was with me or not. Um, and I always made a joke about, uh, because I also carry silverware with me everywhere. <laughs> Why? I truly don't know. But, you know, I always made the joke that you never know when you're going to run into a batch of chili. So, <laughs> but again, it's never actually been used, but I really like it. I like the idea of it being collapsible. So, it is green, however, because I believe at the time of purchase, it was either this one, a blue one, or a pink one. And I like green better than all of those. So, a little green ball. Okay, so next I'm going to be showing this. Now, this is a Furminator. Furminator, yep. It is just a nail grinder. I originally bought this for Hazel, however, it can be used for, you know, many different dogs, cats. It, it is for dogs and cats. It's not super heavy. Um, it does have little grips on it. It's supposed to have two speeds. I don't know if you can really read that. It's supposed to have two speeds. However, I can't really tell the difference in one and two. Um, it does have a little light on it whenever it's turned on, which is really, really nice. It takes nice batteries, which it comes with, by the way. Um, I also did buy this at Chewy.com. I also have, I don't have it in here, but I have the um, replacements for the the actual like filing part and this comes off which I can't get it to come off obviously because I'm filming but it does come off which I always take it off whenever I use it for Hazel because she has giant nails and it's just easier for me to uh, maneuver it um, I'm also not gonna turn it on because I don't want to like freak her out or anything she's okay with it she doesn't love it I don't know any dog that loves getting their nails done but yeah, it is good for upkeep. If you're going to um, be doing this professionally a lot, I would probably recommend um, getting clippers as well. As well. As well. <laughs> um, but this is really good for Hazel. Um, and maybe, may or maybe not for Daisy. I don't know. We'll see how it works. I don't really know. But that is that. Okay, so next is something I have shown in the past my treat pouch it is a pet safe treat pouch and i have my clicker here i don't think there's anything in here currently no there's not um i actually have two of these i was recently given another one which is really nice um however it has been modified a little bit so i don't know how well it'll work for going out trips but yeah this is the one that i purchased um it also has this which is really nice, which is just like a belt thing um, to wrap around your waist if, you know, you don't have pants. That didn't make any sense. Um, it has this clip on it, and I have found whenever you were wearing, um, like, leggings or something, um, that your pants will fall down really quickly, and so I generally have this. However... However, um, I don't think of myself as a very large person. However, um, I, I have gained a little weight, <laughs> not gonna lie. But this, on the largest setting, barely wraps around my waist. Um, and I know it doesn't look it, but that, that's pretty much the entire thing. Um, it barely wraps around my waist. So if you are larger than I, or if you're worried about it, potentially maybe you can order straps like this on Amazon and stuff maybe think about getting a bigger one because yeah and this is also a clicker um this is new relatively new since I have done my like training video and stuff like that so yeah I love the fact that it has the little finger strap on it just like so um it is a clicker clicker um I don't remember the brand but I got it on Amazon um, I really wanted a regular button clicker rather than the like little like tin piece that it holds in it. Plus again I love the finger strap. 
and it is my two favorite colors. Now I'm going to click it. I can almost guarantee that Hazel will not look at me because she, you know. There we go. Uh, but I, I enjoyed it. Um, however, there is no like adjustability with this one. So it is just that loud. Um, it's not like super loud, but I can see how it would get annoying in uh, like public or something like that. But most people don't take their dogs in public to train. So there is that. And that is another thing I really liked about um, this pouch is that there is a spot there for it. However, it very easily comes out. Um, you can have a wrist strap. I don't know if it even comes with one, but you can have one there. But I don't like having it around my wrist. It just kind of fumbles. Anyways, but that is that. That is for training. Um, I use this for Hazel very regularly. Um, so it works really well. I have used it in the past. Um, I know people who go their entire training careers with pretty much this exact thing. And this does come in other colors. However, I prefer just the gray. You know, but that's just me. Um, yeah, that's. I think that's it for training stuff because she's new. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do her collars, leashes, and bandanas, and then I promise we will get to the toys because I know that's what everybody is looking forward to. At least that's what I always look forward to in these kinds of videos. So, yeah. But for starters, this is her. That's my information. <laughs> This is her collar and tag and everything. Um, if you follow me on, if you follow me on Snapchat, you will have seen this before. And if you follow Daisy on Instagram, you will have also seen this before. Links will be in the description below, as always. Um, I also remembered recently that I should probably start adding her Instagram below, but because she does have one, by the way. But yeah. So, her tag, I actually got, or her tag, her collar, I got it at Walmart. Um, I know that's not, like, the preferred place to get it, but, yeah. <laughs> this is what I got. It's, it's like a navy blue color. I don't know if you can really tell, um, from the video, but it has little daisies on, and it's so cute. Um, little, okay, okay, Snapchat. Um, it has, like, little yellow, uh, hardware on it is plastic, again, Again, I know that's not like the preferred thing. There's a bug flying in my face. Um, I know it's not like the preferred thing, but this is just like her first tag to get her used to. There's a bug. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's a bug flying in my face. Um, to get her used to wearing a collar and everything. So yeah. And then um, with the tag, I may or may not leave it on um, until she gets used to the collar, but I, I haven't really decided that, to be honest, but it's just a little bone. I got it at PetSmart, of course. Um, and then let me cover my phone number. It just has my name on the back of it with my phone number. It's the same thing as Hazel's, um, except Hazel is fancier. It's like a little name tag. Cause cutesy, but she also has one. It's a bone, but it's a bigger bone. Uh, but yeah, that is her her collar and tag and I'm super excited about it and yeah it goes bigger and smaller than this by the way this is just what I have it set as for no particular reason um yeah fun fact um this is the small I believe I don't take a picture of it I may try to insert it somewhere I don't probably not um <laughs> Um, just so I can remember for this video what it was. Like the brand, I think it's Simply Dog or something, but I think it's a small. Um, at the largest setting, it will wrap around my neck. And so my thought process is this will be big enough for her because if when she's six weeks old, if her neck is bigger than mine, um, we're gonna have an issue. <laughs> so that was kind of my thought process so I do think this is gonna be big enough for her um, it does go incredibly small however even if at its smallest it still is bigger than my wrist like I can put it on my wrist and it like have 
room to move. So, yeah. If you were interested. But yeah, that's Daisy's name tag. Um, and then this is a harness. Now, disclaimer. I know absolutely nothing about this harness. I don't know what size it is. I don't know what brand it is. I know nothing. Um, as with some of my other things, aka this bowl, um, it came with my chihuahua. Um, he loved it. It worked really great for him. Um, yeah. It is currently at its largest setting, at least that I could get it. It also is like flipped around funny, but we'll fix that. Um, I don't know if this will work for Daisy. I'm sure it will, uh, at least at first. Um, but I plan on taking this with us when we go pick her up. Uh, it's about an hour and a half away to pick her up. And so my thought is, you know, let her potty before, you know, we get in the car. And then take this with us just in case she needs to stop somewhere and potty along the way. Generally speaking, uh, she should be fine with that amount of time to get home. However, I don't know... Um, you know, how she's gonna feel or anything if she starts getting really sick or diarrhea or something. God forbid. <laughs> um, I will put this on her, let her walk around. Um, and I have done my research about that, so don't worry. I'm planning on being as safe as possible, but hopefully this will fit just in case. I do plan on getting her a better one, but again, like with the bowls, I don't want to buy her something super expensive. Um, until she gets a little bit bigger, you know, and I can tell, you know, how she's going to react to stuff. Um, I was holding it upside down. It's <laughs> good. Um, so basically, this is the front right here. This is where her neck will go through, and this will be on her chest, because, like the little, little circle. Um, go along her back, and then that's where the leash hook so yeah but again I don't know how well it'll work this is just more or less a placeholder because I do plan on using a harness for her leash training in the beginning until she gets used to being on a leash how a leash you know works and how it tugs because I don't want it to be tugging on her neck with a collar until she understands the leash and its boundaries and the fact that like that's it <laughs> the end of the leash is that you know it won't like strangle her but that's just my personal preference if you have a different preference that's totally fine that's just how I'm planning on doing things with her um but I will do um the leashes next um I also again disclaimer all of my current leashes are for Hazel. Mind you, she is a full-grown lab. She weighs like 80 pounds. She's large. Um, so I doubt that a lot of these leashes are going to work <laughs> for a six-week-old puppy. Um, but this is just what I have. I will probably end up getting her a lighter weight leash, um, at least for in the beginning. But I don't know. But yeah. So, I'm going to start with this one. It is a four-foot traffic leash. Um, I was recommended one of these when I very first started training Miss Hazel by our trainer, who is also, by the way, going to be helping me with Daisy, um, just for a little bit more control until um, the healing process is learned or understood more. Um, like I said, it's four foot. It is a, ni a black nylon leash. It is extremely heavy duty because it is a traffic leash. It's meant to hold your dog closer to you in times of danger, essentially. Um, so it's like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's like double, doubled up. Um, this is like super hefty. 
um, the clasp is just like your standard clasp, but it is really heavy duty and it is really heavy. Like just this four foot nylon leash is extremely heavy. So I highly doubt this one is going to work in the beginning, especially considering that it's really short. <laughs> but this is a leash that I have that I may or may not use daily. I just figured I would throw it in here. Yeah, I got this at PetSmart. Non-surprisingly, got it at PetSmart. Uh, next is one I also got at PetSmart that you guys have most likely seen before if you've seen any of my videos with Miss Hazel. It is my most lightweight leash that I have um, currently. It is a six foot nylon leash. Um, it has a carabiner shoved in it that I put there so I could wrap it around my waist or, you know, put it over my shoulder. Um, again, standard class. It's, again, my lightest weight leash that I have, but it's still a little heavy. Again, I don't know how well it'll work out, but you know, this is probably the leash that I will take with me to pick up Daisy um, if I don't have a lighter weight leash to begin with. But yeah, I got it at PetSmart, unsurprisingly. I get a lot of my stuff from PetSmart, by the way, because, you know, I used to work there. I got this back when I worked there, like, over a year ago, so... Yeah, and fun fact, I actually bought this in preparation, I guess would be the word, um, for using it as a hands-free leash. That's why I put that on there in the beginning, um, because I was looking into getting a service dog way back then, so yeah, which I can do a whole other video if you guys are interested with all of that but that's I mean it's a really long story to be honest and then last but not least I got this leash at Academy Sports and Outdoors um, this is a I believe it's a hiking leash um, it's so it's made to be more heavy duty I believe this is nylon but it's like a circle but I think it's nylon material. Um, it has this clasp. It is kind of heavy duty. It has this metal hardware here um, to keep it from coming apart, which I appreciate. It has the same one on the other side where you put your wrist through. Um, I think this is five feet. I could be wrong. I don't really know. Um, I really, I think this was actually my first leash that I got for Hazel. Um, I really love this leash, however, when it gets wet, because it is, like, squishy, I don't know if you can really tell, but because it is, like, squishy, it takes forever to dry, and it doesn't matter if it's soaked in the lake, it doesn't matter if it just got rained on, it takes forever to dry, um, so... Yeah, but this is a really nice leash. Um, I don't know where you're able to buy this other than in person because that's where I bought it many, 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 many years ago. Um, probably like two to three years ago because again, it was like my first leash for Hazel. So there's that. So I don't know. I love this leash though, but because it is really heavy, I doubt I will be using it anytime soon for Daisy. Um, but yeah, that is our colors, collar, harness, and leashes. Um, now I'm going to be showing this. These are bandanas. Now, I am a connoisseur, if you will, of bandanas. I love putting bandanas on my dog. I think it makes them look super cute. So, I, I had some of these already, and then I recently bought quite a few more. So, I think I have 9 here, 9 to 11, I'm not sure. Um, and I will very quickly show you them, I won't drag it on forever. But, I plan on, by the way, plan on, you know, putting them, because there, most of these are like, 
double sided. I plan on cutting them in half so I can have matching ones for Hazel and Daisy, which I think is really cute because they're huge as it is. So I have this one, which I absolutely love this one. It's so cute. Uh, pink with white polka dots. Tie dye, of course. Um, this one is a doggy specific one. It says dog, go fetch, woof. Um, this is purple. Oh wow, it shows up a lot better on camera. <laughs> um, it's just purple, like your typical handkerchief. Um, another tie dye, which I don't know. Okay, so these here, um, I got at Hobby Lobby for a dollar a piece. Highly recommend, by the way. Um, this one I got at Walmart, and the rest of these, it's four of them. I used to wear them in my hair, so, yeah. Um, this one is double-sided, correct? Yes. Uh, another tie-dye one. This one is ginormous. Um, it says PetSmart on it. I don't know if you can really tell. PetSmart. Um, because I, surprise, got it at PetSmart um, back when we did our grand opening of the store I worked at. So, yeah, I used to wear it in my hair. Uh, again, I wore this one, or I got this one at Walmart. Just your standard green one. And then, again, at Walmart. And it's snazzy colored. So there is that. I don't know how many that was. Count. Leave the answer in the comments below because I'm not gonna recount them. I think it's either nine or 11. I think it's nine. So, that is her bananas. And now for everybody's favorite part of the puppy haul, toys. Now this is her like toy box thing, I guess you could call it. It is just a storage cube thing that I got at Walmart for like three dollars. Um, I have more of these. If you watched my room tour video, highly recommend you watch it. Even though I'm gonna be doing an updated one relatively soon within the next like three weeks or so. Um, I bought more. Yes, I bought more. Um, and I just used fabric paint, like puffy paint, to do this. Um, this is, for the most part, all free-handed. Um, I used a pencil and traced this. Um, this one turned out really, really well. This one not so much, and this one turned out even worse. Um, and then I did blue polka dots. It kind of looks purple on camera, but it's a bright blue. Um, there's no daisy there. But, yeah, so... For her toys, I will be showing you all of them, but um, some of them I made myself um, and some of them I bought. It will probably be really obvious which ones are which, but I will sh tell you guys anyways. Um, so this is the first one. It's a little moose. Um, I bought this a really, really long time ago. Um, originally, I bought it for Hazel there, but she never played with it, so I just put it up. Um, a friend of ours has a young pup who occasionally comes over, and she will play with this, so Daisy may or may not like it because it already smells like another dog, but she has never torn it apart or anything, so yeah. But I really like it because it has like these little tiny little nubs on it, little tail, so cute. Um, these don't do anything. The ears crinkle. Um, and there is a squeaker in it somewhere. She normally doesn't like squeaky, but... So, it's a little moose. I think it's really cute. <laughs> um, I think it's really cute. Well, antler keeps falling back, but... Yeah, I think it's really cute, so... There's that. Um... Next is one that I very, very recently bought. Um, by the way, I bought this at PetSmart. Yes. Um, I bought this at PetSmart a few days ago, a week ago. 
if you watched my update video about Daisy and like for sure knowing that I was gonna get her um, or a puppy specific, um, in general <laughs> um, it was like the day after that or something that I bought this because I went to PetSmart to buy more stuff um, which is a little elephant it's bungee with these little nubs or bigger nubs it has a squeaky ball on the end the ears are really crackly and of course it has like this big giant thing I told you she doesn't like squeaking my door is closed so the birds weren't yelling um, but yeah it's really really cute it is pink a surprising amount of stuff that I had originally purchased was pink um, I just realized something else that I forgot to show you, but I'll show you that after the toys. Um, but yeah, I think it's really cute. I think she'll like it. I hope she likes it. Um, I'm trying to show you guys, like, actual toys before I show you the ones that, like, I made myself. So this is a Nyla bone. I actually saved thing. This is the tag for this, by the way. Puppy Us. Because I wouldn't have remembered that otherwise. <laughs> and then this is a Nyla Bone. I ordered this off of Chewy, but you can buy it at PetSmart. I'm sure you can buy it at Petco, Pet Supplies Plus, um, most pet stores. Um, you can buy it at Tractor Supply. Um, but it's just a puppy teething toy. It is chicken flavored. And I will tell you, not only is it chicken flavored, it is massively chicken scented. Like, crazily chicken scented. Not a bad thing. Like, you can't smell it, like, halfway across the room. But just holding it in my hand, I can smell it. Um, opening the package, you can smell it. Even though, like, there's a hole in the back. So, I think this will be a favorite. And, you know, it's a, it's a good size for a little tiny pup. So... I'm excited about that. Uh, next is her Kong. Um, I also saved the package for that, uh, of course. It is the medium Kong, which is for dogs 15 to 35 pounds. Um, yes. Now, it is, of course, a puppy Kong because she's a puppy. No Kong. Um, but I bought the medium instead of the small, which would have been a more, like, appropriate size. Because she's obviously not going to be 15 pounds when I bring her home. However, I want to get her used to the Kong. So I want, and I also would rather not buy two. <laughs> and especially when she's just going to outgrow one very quickly. Um, but I want to get her used to it by, like you know, putting her normal kibble in there and letting it fall out, um, which the bigger hole will be a lot easier, um, you know, putting little bits of peanut butter around it, letting her lick it, I think it'll be a lot easier, and then when she is big enough, like, full grown, because this goes up to 35 pounds, and I highly doubt that she's gonna get above 35 pounds, um, I will buy her a normal size one you know maybe like the large or something I don't really know um but yeah so here's her Kong her little little Kong I'm so excited this was like the first toy I actually bought specifically for her and so that's really exciting in fact I bought these two at the same time so her Kong this is not a dog toy I actually bought it or I didn't buy it it came in like a happy meal or something a while back ago I don't even know if I'm gonna give this to her for sure, um, because I actually tore a hole in it. Where was that? Maybe? Maybe not. I thought I tore a hole in it. Maybe I already sewed it up. Who knows? But I thought I tore a hole in it. So I would have to sew it up anyways. But yeah, it's just a little emoji toy. It It's filled. It's supposed to be like a keychain. I was not about to put my keys on this. Um, so yeah, there's that. Next are, may or may not be hers. <laughs> um, these are 
tennis balls, more specifically blue tennis balls from PetSmart. Um, they're actually kind of like squishy, like compared to a normal tennis ball. Um, but the thing I like about them is that they are blue. Now, Missy Hazel right there is obsessed with blue tennis balls. She likes all tennis balls, but she gets even more excited with the blue ones. And I personally think it's probably because it's the color she sees the best. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Google it. Why dogs see blue better? Um, but yeah. So I have two of these. And originally they are Hazel's. In fact, she's already like played with this one a little bit. That's why it's like kind of brown compared to this one. Um, but I figured I'd put them in here with her stuff just while I'm waiting to use them for anybody. Um, and then next is going to be the toys that I made, which is fun. Uh, I'm going to start with this one. It is a work in progress, but it is, it's fleece. It's just like this little, like, not braided, but like braided piece of material, and it's going to be relatively long. I mean, it's not going to be quite that long, but maybe like there. I don't know. It Again, it's a work in progress. I don't know. You know, how long it's going to take me to do it. I don't work on it every day, but I may, I might not even finish it, but it's there. Next, we have a little octopus thing. Um, and it is just, I really don't know. I had fun with it, okay? Um, <laughs> it is some sleeves out of some of my old shirts. It's just cotton material um, that I took out, uh, that I cut off, tied up here, cut it to smaller pieces, and then took two of them at a time and just knotted them up, except for this one because one of the little legs ripped. So I braided it and then it ripped again, so I just tied it. <laughs> um, but there's a little octopus dude who actually has seven legs, but he's an octopus. He would have had eight if this one hadn't ripped. So there's that. But yeah. Um, this one is one that I will most likely not be giving to her, but I wanted to show it in this video. Um, and it is the same concept as this one except i used a pair of pants that i've had for literally almost my entire life <laughs> like i kid you not they are so old and ratty and the reason i say i will most likely not give this to her is because of these little snags there because of the kind of material it was it is coming apart very easily especially like there um and I really don't want her to like tear it off and ingest it or get her teeth caught on it or whatever you know I mean I realize that there's a chance with all of it including like these but I would rather not you know risk it so I most likely won't be giving this to her but I wanted to show it in this video just because um and then we have another little knotted rope thing. I did the same um, thing as I did here. I just tied it and then knotted it. Um, this one is the same concept as this one is, as far as like being the way I did it. Um, yeah, except it's a lot smaller. Um, and the way I did this, I don't actually even know what it's called but if you remember like in school you have this like little um like little plasticky strips i don't even know what they're called um and you like weave it you have like four little pieces that's how i did this <laughs> i don't know what that's called but yeah um this is just a piece of fleece that I had that I braided. It's really small, really, I would say really small, but like, you know, it's smaller, it's flimsy, it's soft, it'll be good for like a tug toy. I don't know, I had fun with it. I had some old fleece blankets, so that's why I did that. This one, 
is another octopus dude. I used um, the sleeve, the other sleeve, and I tied a, a old tennis ball, and just a regular tennis ball, and so it's not squishy. Um, and tie little legs onto it. I really don't know, guys, but I figured it'd be fun. You know, more toys, more fun. And then this one's kind of the same way, except I tied it in the middle with these little, little splintery leg things. I don't know, but I have like a giant mound of toys now. <laughs> and that's just, that's the inside of the box. So I'm gonna throw all these toys back in here and then I'm gonna show you her bed. <laughs> okay, so I originally forgot this, so the toys weren't even the last thing, but here we go. Um, this is just her bed. It is a normal bed. I don't know. I cut the tag off of it, apparently. Um, so I don't know what brand this is. I bought it at Walmart. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um, it was like five bucks. That's why it's like a weird material. Um, but it is really soft. And I didn't want to buy her a super nice expensive bed until she was you know kind of finished growing or she knew not to chew on it or pee on it or whatever so it's five bucks you know if the first day she's here she completely destroys it it's not that big of a loss because it was only five dollars so that was kind of what i thought and it's like this really cute like purpley thing because you know purple is going to be her color i have decided because purple is my favorite color yeah. so after editing i don't know how long this video is actually going to be but i've been recording for literally almost an hour straight so i think i'm going to leave it off here i apologize if i have forgotten anything or whatever but like i said in the beginning of the video this is not 100 percent of her stuff um, but if you do have any suggestions about anything that I have forgotten, uh, please, 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 please leave them in the description, on the description, in the comments below, because, you know, I don't want to forget anything, and I want her first few days with us to be full of love and not having to be leaving her to go get more stuff and everything. So please, please, please leave that, um, if you will. I would very much appreciate it, but... So thank you guys so much for watching, leave a like if you liked the video in the comments, tell me why you did or did not like the video, and things to do in my next one, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!